Uh, is Linda coming tonight? Linda is not coming tonight. We just got a text message from her or an email that she has on work. Oh, so is she the only one? I think that's it at this point, but I ha we haven't seen um, Rebecca or Stephanie yet. <laughs> I know it's fine. <laughs> it's far off. I've got to get my. Did you put it? Okay. How about your glasses there, lady? Stephanie's in. Okay. Hi, Stephanie. <laughs> oh, you don't have. No. Yeah, I have, I have both. But obviously, I'm not doing any better since I wasn't aware of that. That's fine. Oh, thank you. Where'd that come from? Over here. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yes. So we're on the air now. Okay. Which of you wants these next? <laughs> so Denise, I think we can probably get started. Okay, it's a little after seven, and I'm assuming Stephanie went in. She's in. There she comes back in. Is she okay. needing to be let in? Yeah. Oh, hold on. So you can see that. Uh, well, I just realized I remembered that we have to. You don't have a admit Stephanie. There she goes. All right, because she comes in under her. Does All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are we good? We're good. All right. You want to do the likes of it? To the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Ms. Hopper. The first public input session is a 15 minute session with each person having no longer than three minutes to make a statement. Uh, a second public input session may be held at the end of the meeting if allowed by the board chair. Uh, if the speaker would please give, his, please give his or her name, address, reason for speaking. Uh, this input is designated for district residents, but again, the board chair may grant non-residents the opportunity to address the board. Statements concerning subject matter that falls under the law regarding executive sessions, for example, matters involving personnel, cannot be made during the public input. I believe there's still a live stream link at the top yeah. of the agenda people can click on. Submit your questions there. Do we have any? We have no public input at this time. All right, um, so the minutes. Um, I did have, this was the one that I was, I was there virtually. Yeah, semi-virtually, yeah. <clears throat> And I, I ended up, I think, leaving a tad early, but I believe I was there for all of the votes. Okay. I'll just add that. I'd like to make a motion and to accept the minutes. Okay. Oh, only one other thing, Lynn's Manley, Miss Manley was spelled wrong. Oh, sorry, so, Lynn. <laughs> I didn't, I don't know if it was somewhere else either. But I added. <laughs> so I'd like to make a motion to accept the minutes as amended. All right, I'll second it. All right. Oh, I vote on the minutes, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Um, it was not here. The current link, Rebecca. Uh, who, who is not here? Linda Stone and Rebecca, right? Linda and Rebecca are not, are not here now. Yep. Okay. Um, okay, so for the minutes, um, Travis? I have uh, Okay. 
Um, Stephanie? Yes. Nancy? Yes. Lynn? Yes. Joanne? Yes. Estrita? Yes. And me? Yes. Was I there enough to say yes? Yes. I think okay. five. <laughs> yeah. I think there is enough. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so the buses. So I think Jen Llewellyn sent the paperwork over with the minutes or the and the agenda to review, but this is, um, we will need to approve the bus lease for four buses, three large and one mini, and it's for the fiscal year 21 district budget. So that's this year? That's this year. Mm -hmm. I can motion to <coughs> vote to entitle, or vote to authorize the lease purchase of three New 77 passenger school buses and one new mini school bus in the principal amount of $339,706 be adopted in from present to this meeting. I'll second that. Yes. All right. Um, Travis? Stephanie? Yes. Nancy? Yes. Lynn? Yes. Joanne? Yes. Estrada? Yes. And me, yes. And that, just to be clear, those you just said those were already in the budget? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when do we see those buses? Uh, they are arriving, like if they aren't here, yeah. I think they're on property. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's exciting. Yeah. Yes, it is exciting. Oh, like, so we have them. Okay. Let's, let's make sure we get our paperwork done. All right. And educational update. Sure, we just have a few updates um, to our educational programming. The first is that our attendance is remaining very consistent across the board with staff and with students from what we've reported in the past. So we're, we're staying right there. We're, we haven't seen dips or um, huge jumps. Either. And that was like 90%? In the 90s, yeah. In the 90s, yeah. That's both in person and remote. Yes. 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 That's really great news. Um, Nancy had asked us for an update on some of the specials for K-5. So what we've heard from the elementary schools is that each K-5 elementary school has 30 minute specials um, and they are on a two week rotation just to keep the cohorts the same and the, the specialists working with the same cohort for a period of time. Um, so all are at the two week rotation. Uh, let's see, North Berwick, Hussey School, and Knowlton School, their rotation is art, music, PE, library, and computer. And then Lebanon has second step as a special instead of technology or computer. And then at the 4-5 building, they have PE, computer, art, and music. Um, they, so they do not have the library special but their teachers are certainly supporting literacy through, through the classroom. So those are the only two discrepancies and some of that was based on the schedule when we had to shift out and move up the four, four or five to the middle school. We needed to look at specials across the board and make some, some shifts so that we could have some equitability as far as um, students getting specials. Can I, can I ask, sure. can, I, can you go back to those numbers? So I got the first two, Lebanon had what? Lebanon has, Art, art, music, music PE, library, and second step, which is the social emotional lessons. Okay. And adult with some four or five. Yeah. They have PE, computer, art, and music. So they're missing library. They don't have a designated library library in there. For um, specials. So um, Hussey. Art, music, PE, library, and computer. So they're getting all five. Yes. And Hussey so and um, yes. Northbrook. Yeah. And Knowlton. Yeah. And Knowlton. Oh, and Knowlton. Right. And the, um, the, the situation in Lebanon is specific to um, just the adjustments that needed to be made? Or, uh, so it's, it's not as, uh, so, so, they, so they put the second step in instead of the computer piece. So all classes have five specials a week. I have a question. How do, how do PE, 
computer art music is four. Did I miss one? They were just, they'll repeat one if they, so they can have five. Yeah. They still oh, have oh five. so they're not getting five different. They're, right. They're right, right, right. Okay. Um, in the summer when we were sort of brainstorming all of these mm -hmm. options, um, I, as we were kind of talking about the possible upside of having remote access, at one point the idea was sort of floated that the kids in Lebanon could partake in some language classes, like the, I believe, the Hazi and Northbrook do. Mm -hmm. You know, is that something that we ever explored further or is that a possibility? I think we can check with Rosanna Pass and Patty Gilly to see what, what's happening. I know it's really been modified at Hussey School mm -hmm. uh, this year. Just so it has been as well. Yes. Yeah. 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 Just, it hasn't been, um, been able to, to, to bring it the way that we have in the past. Yeah. So, but there is the remote thought. So there may be something that we can do on a remote mm -hmm. thing versus, yeah. you know, the, I'm just thinking if there's, if there's a way to make the kids that haven't had access yeah, right. to it mm -hmm. be a part of whatever right. plan if we do come up with something. Right. So what are the remote kids getting? Did I miss that or did we not get there yet? We haven't got there yet because we don't have any um, formal designated specialists that are working with the remote students at this point in time. Yeah. So what the teachers are starting to do with that is doing some integrated lessons. So that we don't, I, so right now we don't have a PE class that they have. So they do have some PE activities that some of the PE teachers have pushed out, mm -hmm. but they don't have like a designated specialist for remote only. I thought they had a had computer, you know? They, they are getting some computer, yeah. but I don't, like I said, I don't think it's a true designated, this is the time that you have specials. I think they're doing some um, they're coding, doing, yeah. coding work. Coding, yeah. yeah. That's a piece of this as we're developing the remote programming that, you know, we really focused on literacy math and, and the other core subject areas and trying to build in the rest of it. It's not, it's again, one of those things we're building as we go for sure. Yes. And then just a few updates. We had uh, a couple of weeks ago, we needed to have a classroom as you are probably aware um, a classroom at the 4-5 building quarantine for 14 days. We had very, very positive parent, parental feedback from that and how they didn't even miss a beat. Like, it happened, you know, we started that Monday and everything was very smooth. Parents felt like there was no interruption to the programming for that class. And what so grade was it? That was a fifth grade. And, and families then, were able to make it work. And, yes, yes. And then just to report out on the note that you probably got earlier this week, that classroom is going very well in quarantine as well. That um, there's one student who's had a few connect connectivity connectivity issues, and they've really worked through that. And um, so that has not been a, a real current issue as of uh, this morning. So. Again, that's going well. So that has always been what we've worked really hard at to know like in a moment's time, we may need to put a class or a grade level into quarantine or to do remote for 14 days or so. And um, so these two examples have really proven to us that our teachers have done a lot of planning and preparation. Um, even when the parents were notified in both instances have been so supportive mm -hmm. and very understanding of the situation and why, and they've come in and um, like in, in the in the case of the four or five, they needed to come and pick up their children early, and uh, that was you know very cooperative with that, and um, and then this this one uh, happened very much at the end of the day, and the student hadn't taken the bus, so those students you know got home, and um, so really positive experiences with that, so that's very reinforcing <clears throat> to us um, that we are able to move ahead with our with our plan for education with, with very little disruption. So currently the fifth grade class is back. Yes. 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 So which grade is this and they're, they're this is first grade. grade. And they're all full remote. Yes. Right. So the twenty So is this the third time that we've had to do this or the second? This is our second time. Second time. Okay. Yeah. It was a presumptive of the have they upgraded it at all? No, they yeah. haven't. They um, haven't. But, but the understanding, once the CDC has a presumptive case, then it was um, 
there were positive cases around them, they basically assume positivity and the, it's up to the family whether or not they're going to go forward with another test or not. So it's not up. We just, we just go by what the CDC tells us, which is they're out. They're working. <laughs> Stop. Right. And then we're learning a lot about all this stuff. Okay. We are. It's totally it, inconsistent too. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. We could have hours of conversation about this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, they have so many new staff members coming on mm -hmm. for the CDC. So yeah. it would be nice if there was a designation for schools, you know, just mm -hmm. a, a crew that was working for schools, but we haven't seen that quite yet. Um, <laughs> so last week, the um, Middle school took a survey, gave a survey to their remote students and uh, families. So I can just kind of go through those percentages with you like we did at the last one for the K-5. So um, the first question was assignments and content are posted in a consistent and timely manner. 90% of the respondents said yes. Um, and I'll back up and just say we had 30 out of about 94 families respond to the survey, this one. And we did two surveys, right? We did this one, right. the remote, and then there was one that was mm -hmm. the hybrid model. And then the second question was, the team has structured drop-in option for help, questions and support. 87% of families checked that, yes. Uh, the third question, my child is able to manage the daily schedule and work expectations, 87% agreed with that. Um, attendance matters, my child attends all live sessions and completes all daily assignments, and that was 84%. Um, and then number five, communication from the team of teachers has been clear and timely, that was 68%. And again, that was about one third of the parents that have students in our remote uh, six, seven responded. So it seems like a fairly high number of kids that are not attending every class, given that, like, do, do you have a sense of what's going on there? Well, we've heard some of the responses. So do you want to? Sure. You know, so it varies by age or? It, well, it, uh, um, honestly, I think it varies more by, um, uh, the ability for parents to be home monitoring what's going on because a lot so I, I read a few things and some of this was from I, I kind of morphed them together in my head some of it was um, from the hybrid questions which were the similar questions and then the folks that were strictly remote but there are I think a fair number of children who are are kind of on their own doing their work parents are checking in on them and, and it's very clear they, they care and they but they're like you know I'm an hour away if something goes wrong with the technology, they may not get to a class, and there's, there's quite a few variables involved. Um, very little of it, I think, is just folks not um, choosing to attend. More likely it's some sort of a, either technology glitch or... Um, Do you have a sense of, um, I know you said it's not necessarily age, but you, you must have some idea of attendance by so the this primary is, levels. This or is six and seventh only that we were looking okay. at. Mm -hmm. uh, um, this is okay. just strictly the, the, oh, okay. Okay. the high, high school crew is doing their survey next, next week, week, I think. Yeah. Okay. So we're, we're kind of taking a chunk at a time. Okay. So this is specific to our sixth and seventh graders. And our K-5 was higher, much higher than this yep. for the yep. remote piece. Uh, and and it. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. right. okay. So much of that is really about, yeah. it's true, it's about parents being able to supervise, because if you're, you're choosing to keep your third grader home, there's an adult present. If you're but a seventh grader at home, you might yeah. not be, right? Because they may be responsible kiddos, but they're not necessarily yeah. well, fully capable. have the high school survey, would it be possible to have like all of this? Sure. The one yeah, yes. so yeah. We, mm -hmm. we sure can. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's good info for all of us to just sort of analyze and think about it. And the administrators have been looking at things and the teachers have been looking at so Yeah. This new, uh, new frontier that we are on. Mm -hmm. That's right. And the next uh, agenda item under educational update is we'd like to schedule the workshop to talk about the hybrid plan for the high school. So we would like to propose um, before the next board meeting on the 29th at six o'clock. I don't know how that would work um, for everybody. That gives us time. We're trying to get some surveys out to the high school families, um, to students, staff, and parents. So that would give us time to get that validation out and have it back. You want to do the 29th? 
Did Just like to ask. Yes. Do we so, have Sorry. Well, no, I was just going to say I'm happy to, to do it on that day. Um, and I was going to propose that we do. Normally, we wouldn't have a board meeting because that's the third one. But I, okay. I, I kind of assume that we want to stay on like a two week. Oh, like, so then do we have one the next? There would have been. Well, actually, you're right. You're absolutely right. We should be thinking about Which, this. Which, uh, again, I'm happy to keep it on that schedule. I don't, I don't love the idea of going three weeks, but if we could, we could always do a. I mean, whatever whatever people think is. So I think well, I think we have to keep the first and third, yeah. third right. no matter what. I don't. We can't change that. No. Yeah. So do we? If we want to fill that as a point out as a workshop. I think that's yeah, yeah. That's okay. Just a yeah. workshop, and we can just do it the, the normal time if you'd rather at seven. That works. The twenty minute of can, can I ask a question about that? Because I did have a thought, and I don't even know if this exists, but it seems to me. You know the information we've got through email and so forth. Is there any kind of technology out there that can easily, without you know, having a whole another teacher go into a class, that can record an in-class class, <laughs> you know, in-session class, that can then go to the remote kids? Do you understand? Without making extra extra work for the teachers and stuff. I mean, they can. The technology is there where they can do it live. Right, they do that right now. Yeah. They do synchronize I think it's for some answer to make classes right now. Right. So they're but but they're still only getting two like at the high school, two different lessons a week per class. Right? I think the idea of the workshop is to like talk through that yeah. in detail and have a better handle of it. Yeah. Like what is currently happening, what's right. working well okay. and then what we might I didn't know if there was technology out there since we had money. <laughs> I mean, I, I would say as a part of the workshop, I'd love to have a piece of that be the technology yeah. so that yeah. we can understand yeah. what yeah. the yeah. options are. And um, yes, yeah, I yeah, I agree. I think if the technology is there, it's just figuring out how to use it or the right way to implement it. So does the 29th work? Uh, Astrina, I see you up there. OK, Stephanie. I didn't okay. Sorry, me and my mute. Uh, yes, it works. Okay, thank you. And Lynn, does that work for you, the 29th at 7? Yes, that works for me. Okay, great. And this will be our only agenda item. Yeah, this is the workshop. Do we Wait, have... somebody said 6 before and then somebody said 7. What time again? Well, that's the question. Where would you guys oh, go? Oh. <laughs> do we want to just be fully, does everyone just want to log in remotely or do it in person? I'm, I'm happy with I either. Think, I think it would be. You what? Easy. I think it would be easier for the administration and all that stuff if most of us were here in yeah. person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I if, agree. <coughs> I would say if, if we that's that I mean, that works. And if I didn't realize it, but maybe if we could do six p.m., that would be easier for um, the administration, since then they could be home at a reasonable hour to be back up in the morning. I so. mean, can people do earlier? Than, I can do earlier than that if if we're trying to if we're we can do it. It's up to you guys. Do you want to do? I couldn't do much earlier. I could do five would be probably my okay. max. What do you guys think? Like, like, I mean, Linda probably has work. It would be hard for Linda to be here for five. Um, I don't know. I could do five either, but I could do five thirty. I'd say we just stay with six. Six. Give them a time to get the lease. I think we got to six o'clock, Steph. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. So that's, that's Thursday, the 29th. And anybody who can be in person. Yeah, okay. That'd be good. Awesome, okay. And then, so we do have a regular meeting then on the 5th. On the 5th, right? Mm -hmm. So that's good for me to know. So on the on the months that there are three Thursdays, you take that last. Yeah, typically we get, what happens I mean, is it goes away eventually, like when okay, it's budget yeah. season, so we just keep meeting. When the world wasn't falling apart, it was right. right. the third okay. one. Yeah. But, okay. But we're trying, I mean, I think we've actually done pretty well to like just keep it to the two, so yeah. that's good. Okay. Uh, okay, so October 29th. You, have, uh, you just called us everybody. You don't have to get on with that one, but you just called us one? Yes, that's just the newsletter. Yeah, that was. I know. Like, like, we all just yeah. call right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just sent out the newsletters. Yeah. 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 I'm just doing a good job getting those newsletters out. Laura Cash has been great. Yeah. So that's all we had under educational update. 
Does does anybody on the board have any questions about the? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, my question was last week when we talked about a deadline for the no changes thing. Mm -hmm. Right, for this, yeah. It's just tomorrow. Notify parents. We just did, like yeah. that little call you got. So it may be a, and we'll have some extensions out of it, but. And so what what were, what did we tell them was the? 16th. Yes. Of October. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that is sort of like a hold until? January. The, until the okay. second semester. Yeah. And we've um, the other thing that's changed a little bit is that we've gone from trimesters in the elementary schools and the and the middle school to just semesters for that very reason to like keep everybody keep everybody, everybody on the same schedule. Yeah, yeah. They they made that decision mm -hmm. last week. So, all right. What is that saying on there, guys? Something's gonna shut off in a moment. Okay. Uh, all right. I think I just need to like push a button or okay. something. Maybe turn the volume up. Turn the volume it, up. it was the TV, right? Yeah. yeah. Automatic power down. Don't be afraid. Are there any other uh, questions? Yeah, any other questions from any of you guys remotely? I just want to make sure that I have everything for the um, workshop. We want to talk a little bit about technology. We'll talk about the survey results that we have. We'll talk about what's going well. We'll talk about some barriers and challenges that we've had and um, move ahead from that point. So. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm interested in, um, it, it seems like there's still a little bit of mixed communication on sort of um, what, maybe like what the bigger schedule looks like more from a sort of faculty standpoint. Mm -hmm. But, um, so I think an understanding of that just so that we can answer questions clearly. Okay. But also I would be interested in um, you know, if this were a year ago, there would be classes that were blended with different age groups. And my understanding is that one of the biggest hurdles is sort of this grade level that we're in. And so teachers are having to teach a class more than once. And so my question is really, now that we are a little bit into this and we understand the technology better, is there a way to make it so that, and unless I'm understanding this wrong, just so that like that teachers aren't having to teach twice as much, right. and that maybe the benefit then could be more, you know, access to teachers. So that that would be my goal is to just to understand the scheduling sure. and to think creatively about um, how do we move in a certain direction. Mm -hmm. I think that's yeah. a very good. That's a very good. Uh, Point. <laughs> I, think, I think from elementary level, I think we're hitting a whole run with that. It's working. Absolutely. I think yes. from the high school to middle mm -hmm. school. Yeah. As a parent, as a high school kid, mm -hmm. I, I don't think we're hitting a home run there. I, I think there's a large amount of free time mm -hmm. going on right now. Not that I want to keep them busy all the time, but we have something going Yeah, on. I think there's a lot of work being assigned. Yeah. I think like there's definitely the level of expectation is there. I think it's just, to me, it's under having a better okay. a schedule that we can sort of evolve into. Sure. Yeah. I do want to give a little shout out to the high school for pulling off the SAT yesterday yeah. because I just think that most schools haven't been able to do that. And mm -hmm. as far as I know, it went well. And yeah, it did. Yeah, mm -hmm. they, they will set that to thumbs up to the admin at the high school for sure. Okay. Great. Okay. okay. Sounds good. All right. Did anybody get back to the uh, guy about the bus? Uh, I know that we heard what the response was during the, the meeting, last meeting, but then I saw that email come through again. Or another email. Oh, you did? Yeah. We didn't see that. We didn't email. see it. Oh, okay. He was. It was just like a, a recopy and repaste of, of um, you know, the emissions that came out and the gagging. It was that guy. I just didn't know if anybody had let him know. We'll make sure that 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 he is has a connection with somebody tomorrow okay thanks sorry I, we didn't see that right we didn't see that so <laughs> and just wanted to make sure you we, we followed up on the one that you emailed us on as well i don't know if you've seen any changes thank you and i actually the timing hasn't been there but i've been wondering so thank you i appreciate oh. that Okay, so I think we're on to number six. Yeah, so no other questions on the educational update. We're good on all that. Okay. okay. All right. All right, and we have one retirement. Um, Jana St. Germain, 
from Lebanon at the end of this year. So she has been in Lebanon for 31 years. Miss wow. um, St. Germain. Yes. yes, yes, and she just said that she's enjoyed her time. It's been a pleasure and to work with the great staff, parents, and students. So well, do we need a motion to? We do, we do, we do accept, okay. yeah. Somebody want to make that? I'll make a motion to accept uh, her, resi her retirement with regret. And best uh, wishes. And right? best yeah, I'm going to have a great time. I'll awesome. second that. Okay, great. All right. Um, Travis? Yes. Stephanie? Yes. Nancy? Yes. Lynn? Yes. Joanne? Yes. Estrada? Yes. And Denise? Yes. Awesome. All right. Okay. Superintendent report. Okay, we just have a few things under here. Uh, just so everybody is aware that all of the school-based safety plans have come in with their annual concurrence page signed. We are waiting on a few signatures from our transportation department, but they've had a massive shift in what they've had to do. So they are just finishing up getting their signatures in, and then we'll get their plan. Um, let's see. Our professional development day last Friday, we focused on everybody had uh, some trauma-informed practices and care. And then our high school started with implicit bias, which was uh, very well received. Both of those workshops were very well received. We had a lot of positive feedback from staff. Um, the implicit bias training will go down to our um, lower, our elementary K, K7. Uh, and are those trainings something that they do online or like there's, how, how are those done? We did those online. They were yes. virtual, but there was a presenter. Yes. Like it wasn't, uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, there was an actual live presenter, you know, right. working with our group of people and answering questions. What are, are the, um, on the, um, the first one was the, um, the trauma yeah. space. Are they updating the, what they're doing for that kind of training, like for sort of the including the pandemic times and what impact that has? And they, yeah, yes. Do you have any, are there any like nuggets that you can give us, like the type of thing that teachers were, like I, that was a part of the Sure. Training? So some of the strategies that they talked about was, first of all, how working teach for teachers on kind of the self-care in the moment, like the Dean breaths and those type of things, just some reminders on that, but also um, communication and how you approach a student who may be having some anxiety or trauma or having a difficult time, just some different kind of strategies. Um, and it's not so much totally new from other trauma trainings that we've had, but just more reinforcement of you know, this has affected students and children this way. Th these are the, the good approaches, you know, the better practices mm -hmm. to, to work through some of that with students. Um, you know, talked, they talked, this one talked, the person who spoke was Bethany Cunningham and she spoke more about um, like art and how art therapy and, and just, draw, you know, drawing, sketching, those types of things can really, really help as well. Mm -hmm. Um, so that was a little different than some of the other trainings that we've had in, on trauma right. in the past. And then the implicit bias one um, was just re a really good first blush for the staff. You know, we haven't certainly started full force with students. That's a little more delicate, mm -hmm. but just kind of get, making sure that we have some common trainings and experiences for the staff is a, a really good thing. It's and it'd be very enlightening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Yes, and Mallory Cook was the presenter for that and she was from, I'm gonna read it, from, from Leaders from Just Schools mm -hmm. and uh, really, really positive feedback on, on that presentation, so. Very good. And then we, they had, a, um, they, there was a mandatory um, one on, uh, mandatory like hour training mm -hmm. webinar. that was a webinar that we had the K K7 watch on um, prevention of any kind of abuse mm -hmm. and that was um, we did get some feedback that that was that was hard to digest some of it was mm -hmm. um, but we hear that whenever we do any any kind of the, those more sensitive trainings that they're very mm -hmm. that they're hard yeah can you remind me if we have I, I'm sorry, I should know this, but do we still have sort of the equivalent of the Thursday morning or the Thursday late start half day, uh, like um, teacher? So not like, not the same as it, at all. Okay. I mean, now we actually incorporate the, that 
information and time into the Wednesdays, and then she later on. Oh, right. Okay. Stuff. So because of the the Wednesday, uh, well, for actually, sure. for for the K to K to seven crew, they have Wednesdays available to them that way. The high school is in session. Mm -hmm throughout that time frame, so it's a little bit different. But they make it, they're making sure that there are pockets of time for for um, staff development and for you know working together in PLCs and that kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, we can't we can't move forward unless we can still have time for yeah. those conversations. So we definitely are keeping a thing around that. Yeah. yeah. Right. And then we have a form here that we need to do that um, Tonight, it's certification of school board representative to the delegate assembly of the Maine School Boards Association. <laughs> so I think, Denise, I think that may be something you wanted. You expressed an interest in attending. Oh, That's the yes, workshop. Yes. And Nancy, I think, did you as well? Yeah, but I can't do it. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, so um, I, I believe so, Denise is. Yeah, I was a little confused about the, I know that um, one of them, is on the 29th, a half day, and that was the one for maybe specifically for board members, and then there's the rest of the conference, and I was a little confused about what. So the conference is no, I it's it Friday, up. Saturday? No, it should be Thursday, Friday. The um, delegate assembly will be held at 2.30 on Friday. Yeah, yeah, the 30th. And these are all virtual? Yes. Yeah. Okay, everything's virtual, yeah. Oh, the delegate assembly, okay, I remember that. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I can juggle that while working, I think so. Right. Okay. And last year, leading up to that, um, Steve provided us with some of the motions that were going to be passed and okay. gave the board an opportunity to sort of have our voice on them. Um, I'm not sure where those came from or how that exactly happened, but um, it was it was certainly useful for me to oh, be able is. to go into it, it knowing what our Saturday board had already discussed. Okay. Sure. It is Friday and Saturday this year. Yeah, that's what I thought. But Thursday afternoon, I think, is some other piece of it. Good Lord. <laughs> I don't, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes, we can compile. We can get that information and send it out. Okay. Like that just so yeah. everybody has time to look at that. Yeah. That helps. I don't believe there needs to be a motion for this. Um, you can. I don't think so. As long as we have somebody who's willing to volunteer right. or volunteer for what to be the delegate. That's fine. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Okay. I'll just note it in the minutes then. Right. Unless somebody else wants to. Joanna. I think you're the perfect candidate. <laughs> <laughs> you can't win these with compliments, you know, or you can actually. No, I, I actually mean that. <laughs> and then okay. the last. Uh, well, and actually, just before we close that, is, is there anybody else on the board um, and you guys remotely who are interested in? attending the um, any parts of the conference. And I will say I've, I've done it a couple of times and it's quite fascinating. And the mm -hmm. fact that it's virtual makes it a whole lot easier to yeah. drop yeah, into sure. some um, yeah. session. So um, I would especially say for anybody that's new on the board, Stephanie, um, <laughs> that, <laughs> that, <laughs> What are you um, saying drop-ins and everything? Can somebody send oh, something to you just for the yeah. general layout? Well, so historically it was in Augusta and it was like a regular conference kind of thing and you would go up for a day or two days or whatever. Um, but because it's all virtual, my guess is that each session will probably have its own like room. But um, if you get it, I'll try to find the agenda and send it to you. But there's a there's usually it's thought provoking. Usually they have a keynote speaker that certainly, um, you know, presents on an interesting subject and, um, you know, and a lot of the sessions are, they're really, they're helpful. I find them to be helpful. Um, yeah. But for anybody, I, I we usually I'm have one or two people who attend, you know, in some way, but again, because it's virtual, I think um, it might be a little bit easier. 
The cost yep. must be less, isn't it? What's that? The cost per person. You still have to pay, I'm sure. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure. I think we've done two in the past, but I'm not sure. I don't know what the, the what, cost what I is. find interesting is um, how many topics, uh, you know, presenters are the exact same things that we go through here. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, the, you know. Meaning, like, that other schools have the same problem. Oh, yeah, so absolutely. Oh, totally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It does so. feel good sometimes to realize you're not alone. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. It is, I, I uh, echo Denise's comments, Stephanie. I think you would really enjoy it. The, the speakers are normally very, very good. Yeah. And you do learn a lot. So. Oh, I say when it's like, yes, Stephanie, yes, Stephanie. Yeah. Well, I, I, I mean, I, for anybody, but I would say especially as, yeah. like, a newer board member, it's, it is helpful. And last yeah. year, the keynote speaker was talking about um, like po the cycle of poverty in schools in rural districts, and it was it was just um, it was really thought provoking. It was it was good. And again, like the sessions are always very interesting. Yeah, like I said, I can I could probably attend some of them. I, I can't say all, but I would uh, I would be interested in that. So if you do send me after this, just what you have on it, I can let you know a little bit more detail with, with when, uh, once I can look at the calendar. <laughs> okay, sure. Thank you. And we do need to vote on this. So we do need a motion. For the delegate. For the delegate. Yeah. It's it's a little official right there. So. Anybody want to? Somebody like to nominate me? Somebody likes to nominate me? Okay, I nominate Denise as the delegate. I'll start with that. Thank you. Um, okay, Travis. Yes. Stephanie. Yes. Nancy. Yes. Lynn. Yes. Joanne. Yes. Estrada. Yes. And me. Yes. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much for doing that. Yeah, it was interesting last year. Um, any others? The only other thing is that we will be sending out just some confirmation uh, and some date, potential dates for the Facilities and Finance Committee and the Policy Committee. Um, the Policy Committee needs to look at some Title IX uh, language for updates on that. And Facilities and Finance just needs the initial meeting so that we can talk about a couple of dates that we've talked about with the administrative team and just some potential goals that we may have for the budget season. So, so people signed up for, for the committees they want to be on? Yep. If you haven't, I would ask, I can reshare that document. I think, we need to, I think you're right. We need to, yeah. uh, we need to assign you because yeah. some Actually, folks did sign up more than, right. And you said, some people said, if someone else wants it, we'll give it. So we'll look at those and yeah. we'll duke it out. Did we have a document that we were looking at? There will yes, be a document that out. Yeah. Yes. Just, we'll, 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 we'll just send it out. official. We'll send yeah. out an official. Okay. Okay. I don't remember that. In fact, I'll add it to the minutes. Thank you. So that it's there, so that we know who's signed up for what. Right. Great. Great. And I think we. I signed you right? Well, well, I told you I wanted to sign Yeah, yeah. I put that I don't remember if I actually added it to the last one. Yeah. I think we put it in. I think we did. We'll take care of it. Um, okay. I have another I just okay. question. Yes. Um, I know we used to always do the review of the superintendent in December. Mm -hmm. So is that are we going to be able to do that again? Are we going to do it for December this year, or? We should talk about it actually. Um, you need to. Because that's yeah by law you have to do it, um, I, but I do think we. I was talking to Audra about an evaluation form that is a little more, um, I think, user friendly for you. Yes, and especially in this very. Oh yes. and it's a short. Like you're only talking about a, a six month time frame. Right. So yeah. let's look at that in a shortened version, and then we can do a longer one prior to. We were talking about it prior to. Um, the summer when we can meet as a board in a summer workshop mode and give mm -hmm. better talking about goals and mm -hmm. things for the coming year. Does that make sense? That like, that sounds perfect. Okay. Just didn't want it to. No, it's not gone no. away. We just we were actually mm -hmm. been gathering. We had their evaluations to be like streamlined them down. And it's nice to get the um, 
document and right. I guess we can yes. Yes, mm -hmm. look at it and Absolutely. be thoughtful. Yep. So, yep. Thank you very much. Sure. And probably by our next meeting, we'll actually want to start scheduling yep. when we're looking at that stuff because yep. time will go by quickly. Absolutely. Well, on the, on the same vein, um, when are we going to start budgeting? It's coming. <laughs> I think it's it's coming. That, was, that was my next thing is that we are, <laughs> we're actually scheduling our budget meetings now with our um, administrators and our goal is to have everything completed from our administrative team by the by Thanksgiving so that we can get to the, we can get things to the board in a shorter fashion. And, yes, while we're talking scheduling. Mm -hmm. uh, are we going to start up on the construction committee? Like after Christmas to like review and because of then the vote would be next fall. I mean, probably in January, that makes sense, right? Yeah, January. I think we're gonna be looking after yes. yeah. okay. it's, this is um It's a weird year. It's weird and the and the it's sort of like this compressed but extended timeline that we're trying to navigate. Plus we have the SRF stuff that's gonna happen and then we're working through that. Um but this other these other pieces are a little bit on the sort of the back burner until we yeah. really do oh, make a decision about them. when we're going to put this up to vote. Um, yeah. I still think, I'll be honest, I'm concerned about timing still, so I think we really need to think it through carefully. Oh, you're concerned this about the timing of? Like when we know. put this bond out oh. there and uh, given it, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot up in the air in yeah. terms of our world right now, right? So we want to make sure that we put it out at the best possible timing. into a time crunch on space. Yeah, no question. We don't have space issues right now. We do, but we got well, we do. Right. We do. <laughs> right. so, well, but, yeah, we do, and if we didn't, we might have more kids in. Right? So last year, the thinking of the, the timing of the vote did have to do with, or this year currently, would have been, I mean, the factors were a primary and a general election, which next year we don't have right. to consider so, those. So that would be just fine. Mm -hmm. right? And the time and the work that we need to put into, but getting the every year we the vote up, price there. goes up. So. Yeah. yeah, No, you're right about it. You're right about that. Oh, oh, right now. Now. It's, it's terrible. terrible. Right. right. I know. Outrageous. It's very Yep. Hmm. Any others or questions or? And we don't have any other public input, right? Yeah, yeah. Public input. Really? Uh, where is well, I had one more quick thing um, for the uh, you guys looking for things to get for the uh, um, school. We remember I brought up plexiglass last time. Uh, I actually had to replace a filter inside of one of my air purifiers, and I was just thinking maybe something along those lines. Mine actually has a little button you press, and it does the UV sterilizing at the same time. It's maybe just food for thought of uh, putting a bunch of those because even past COVID, it's good for flu season. Okay, thanks. All right. Okay. Oh, that's the wrong one. Hold on. I keep finding these and I'm like, wait. Um, and these are the wrong, it's like from months ago. <laughs> I'm like, and put here. And responsive. Nothing. Okay. 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 Should we go to the I make a motion. All right. Thank you. Do a second. I'll second. All right. Yes. Travis. Yes. Yes. Stephanie. Yes. Nancy. Yes. Lynn. Yes. Joanne. Yes. Estrita. Yes. And me. Yes. Seven fifty. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you. Good. Bye. 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 Bye.